I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hi Brendan, Paul Machin, Red Men TV. Um, Jordan Ives had an impact already in pre-season. Obviously we saw the meteoric rise of Raheem Sterling towards the back end of last season. Can can Jordan basically, you know, can he follow that sort of similar progression into the first team? I think what you can do for young players is give them the opportunity. Players that have the talent, it's whether they have that that personality to then go and produce that talent in the training and in the game. So uh, there's no doubt Jordan has got great qualities. You know, interesting enough, he's exactly a year younger than Mahim. He's 18. They're both born on the same day, but a year apart. And so he's hoping that he can follow in his footsteps. Uh, and he certainly has the qualities. So I think. We've seen the sort of pre-season since I've been here that potential. He's come on in a couple of games for me and shown up very well. So I hope that he can have a good pre-season and then it gives me something to think about. Will allow him to stay. And that's always the, the balance you have with young players. Do you keep them? But they maybe not feature so much, but they get some game time in it and it gives them encouragement and development. Or do you send them out and on? Feel the pressure every single week because they play regularly. Yeah, is that easier with more games to play this season? It could be, yeah. Aubrey, um, you know, it's an early pre-season run out, but we, we, you know, we won, which is a stage better than we got against uh, Bromby. Yeah, it looked exactly like it was second, second pre-season game, you know.